Hi everybody, CyberRiff here. Just wanted to do a quick video on the subject of the NHS COVID-19 app that will track and trace humans, people, as they enter into a business, residence, in their area or in their city or in their country. I just received uh, a text actually from my bank saying that if you're a business you need to have or display an NHS QR code sign outside of your business premises and it um, led me to look into some articles and then as a result I'm doing this video now if you look at the this article here it says that the new contact tracing app has been introduced to help monitor the spread of coronavirus but there remains confusion about how it works and if you look at the date it's dated today the 24th of September 2020 and it says after months of delays and millions of pounds the NHS has finally launched its official contact tracing in England and Wales. Named NHS COVID-19, the app will ask users that have been near someone with a positive coronavirus test result to self-isolate for two weeks, which is 14 days. It will also allow users to check into venues, check into venues, I'll say it again, check into venues by scanning a QR code on their phones. They will then get an alert through the app telling them to self-isolate if in an area they visited is found to be coronavirus hotspot. Now, I'm not going to read through the entire article, but what I'm going to say is this. I'm all for, obviously, the NHS or any health service monitoring the coronavirus worldwide, in any country, any city. But when you start to use technology and tracking especially when this tracking device is sophisticated enough to actually obtain every information from your phone your name your number your photos what calls you've made, etc., etc., because that's what apps do. Every app that is on your phone right now, when they ask you for permission to your photos and permission to your contacts, and if you enable that permission, then they have access to that information. I personally think that people need to be aware. It's your option, it's your choice, but be aware of what permission and access you are granting to any app on your phone. And also, when you think about this tracking, what happens if they start to 
segregate, target, segment, penalize people of a certain culture or ethnicity or race. What happens then? What happens to people who do not have a phone or a smartphone? What happens to people who live in a Pacific area? And with what's going on around the world when it comes to racial targeting from insurance companies to banks to every industry in the world or in your country. I think this is alarming to say the least. And also it says here you can download it from Apple and Google and I'm sure they'll be adding Facebook and all these other plat major platforms so your information is not just going to be across one platform it's going to be across quite a lot of platforms and probably worldwide as you can see from this diagram here or chart or photo it says enter the first part of your postcode your postcode district you need an English or Welsh postcode district blah blah, blah. and it's got examples of how to put in your postcode tells you if the app is active and scanning scanning then it's got the venue check-in and check symptoms this is this is this is alarming to me and I, I know there's people out there that will say so what I don't care I've got nothing to hide it's not about got anything to hide no one's got anything to hide it's about privacy being private protecting your information your health records and your health inf information is one of the most besides your passport it's one of the most important pieces of information about anybody for that to just go across different apps plus if you give access to that app on your phone all the apps on your phone will have access to that information guaranteed 100 percent this is not a conspiracy um, video the facts are on the screen this is bringing awareness to people who don't understand how apps work if you give permission to that app all the apps on your phone will have access to that information then how do you control where that information goes after that is the point the main point the alarming point that I don't think even the NHS and I have friends in the NHS who are high up in the NHS and I don't think and I have had discussions with them telling them I don't think you understand technology or technologies and what they can do this article here says iPhone 6 users furious at NHS track and trace COVID-19 app does not work with their phone okay probably that's a good thing then it says here Apple iPhone owners are attempting to download the NHS COVID app which is designed to stop the, sp the spread of coronavirus. 
stop the spread of coronavirus? So how many different viruses have we had from HIV to Ebola to, to SARS, even in Africa, and they've stopped those viruses or at least you know kept it to a minimum? And they never used apps and, and smartphones. It says here that people who later tested positive had have, have discovered a limitation. If you own an iPhone 6 or older, you're unable to track and trace. The NHS contact tracing app is finally available now for Android and iOS users living in England and Wales after months of delays. The software is designed to help contain the spread of COVID-19 by alerting users if they have been in close contact with someone who have, has since tested positive. Until now, the NHS track and trace system has relied on people handing over their contact information, including name and mobile number when looking when booking tables in restaurants, taking part in gym classes, or ordering in their local pub. So as you can see, this track and trace is every establishment from the gym to the rest, a restaurant to the pub. I'm sure it's gonna be grocery stores, probably everything. Every business and building, especially with that message I just got on, on my phone, if you're a business, you have to have an NHS QR code scanner sign displayed. Now, just to, just to sort of help shed some light and, you know, and show people where, where, where can this potentially end up it says here and this is dated the 19th the 9th of the, the 15th of the 9th 2020 human trials set for bionic eye that links to a chip in the brain it's from msn news Let's read that again. Human trials set for bionic eye that links to a chip in the brain. Why would you need a chip anywhere near your brain? It has been more than what, 10 years in the making. Are you still saying, so what? I've got nothing to hide. It has been more than 10 years in the making, but scientists are preparing, preparing to implant a bionic eye in a human subject. I'm not even going to read this article. Where it's coming from. I'm going to put the links down below. And it says here, the Australian scientists are just one of many working towards connecting the brain to a computer. Even Mr. Musk has also been designing a chip that he demonstrated in pigs recently. This is why I'm alarmed. This is why I'm concerned. This is why I'm making this video. And I'm sure I'm not gonna get views on this video Because it seems as if when you put 
information like this on major platforms they put it to the bottom of the pile because they don't want to really inform educate alert people to facts media facts of what's going on here's another article 3D printed implants that link human brains to computers and stimulate the spinal cord could be used to treat people with paralysis so they can right here just in the heading without reading the article they can give you a 3D printed implant that links your brain to a computer and then they can stimulate the sp your spinal cord to treat you and your brain and your spinal cord however they want to treat it. It says here that scientists are creating 3D printed brain chips which could be used to treat nervous system conditions including paralysis by detecting and firing detecting and firing electrical signals into your brain into your spinal cord This is the end of the video for me. If you have a comment, please leave your comment below. Please share, subscribe, like. Most of all, pray for this world that is increasingly moving towards robots versus humans and using technology and microchips to treat humans like mice and rats and pigs thank you for listening